Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Rodriguez. If you don't know me, I'm a third year medical student. I've been making videos since I got accepted into medical school. I still can't believe I have been making videos for that long, but yeah. And it's all about my experience and some tips on how to manage different aspects of medical school. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe down below. Um, I have been lacking on my video uploading recently, but my goal is always to, you know, um, film whenever I have a chance and just share with you everything I can about this whole journey. So today, I was thinking on sharing how I've been studying during this stage of my career, which is more of clerkship type clinicals. So I'm in the hospital, I've been in OBGYN clerkship and it's not all about just going to the hospital interacting with the other medical professionals but also we have to keep studying right so it's hard to find some um, structure during these times so i just wanted to share one resource that i've been using a lot and how i've been using it there's very limited time when you're in clerkships and my strategy per se is looking at cases of course, studying the overall of the UIN topics, the most important ones and the ones that are mostly seen. But also, if I see a really interesting case, then I go ahead and look up that topic based on the case that I saw that day. And that kind of helps me, you know, connect the human perspective, you know, that patient that I saw and it really motivates me to study more. I could be studying more. Honestly, I must say I am not, you know, doing my 100% on my on my studying habits, but I'm definitely trying to improve that. And this resource that I'm going to talk about today really helps me in that. It gives me a little bit of structure in these times of um, chaos <laughs> in medical school. So the resource is Lecturio. This is a resource that I've been using for a while. So since I was in my second year, the beginning of my second year, which I was doing cardio, pulm, we did the different uh, systems and I also did repro and endocrine. It was really, really, really good for repro and endocrine. My favorite thing about Lecturio is its completeness. Like you can literally find anything, any topics you may want to learn about and the teachers or the professors that are teaching there are you know the best of the best they're really good at what they do and they summarize it in a way that is concise it's uh, organized you know they have the powerpoints which i was using before but now since you know you guys know i have my own little notebook um area with you know my own words and i kind of like do my own set of notes so i take notes sometimes from their videos um but they do have the powerpoints if you needed them mainly i have been focusing on the obgyn clerkship a uh, playlist that they have and it's really nicely organized and it's, it's a lot of really useful information and you have everything in one single resource you have question banks you have a space repetitions so after each video the videos they're divided uh, between five to ten minutes each depending on the complexity of the topic but after every video they throw questions at you so it's active learning it's not only watching videos but you have to complete th those questions and then the, those questions they put it into an algorithm similar to Anki so that way you do space repetition learning which is very useful in medicine in general um, but they also have question banks with more MBME style questions this is a resource that people use for step one as well and I used it during my preclinical years but now I'm kind of like utilizing their organization, their system for step two preparation, for shelf preparation and for the general clinical, uh, my clinical studies. So I wanted to, since I had very limited time, to choose something that was going to be very complete so I don't have to go anywhere else to find stuff and this is definitely uh, the resource for me right now. So one of my favorite features also is that they have the app. So the app is really updated, it doesn't freeze or anything and it has everything. It has all their libraries, their question banks and they send you a question of the day every day so that you can keep up with um, 
any you know habits that you have i like it because it sends me a question at like 8 a.m so it prompts me to study it prompts me to do um anything academic even in my days free i have a little bit of time free right now between labor and delivery and um, UN surgery they gave us a few days but I'm still working I'm still keeping up with you know the playlist that I'm doing and it makes me feel good just to receive that question and then do it see the ex their explanations which are really extensive similar to your world and then complete that and perhaps do a little bit more videos throughout the day um, so that I don't feel unproductive <laughs> during my vacation time but yeah that that's how it's been going I'll show you a little bit of the whole um, platform and how it's organized another thing I use you know we have academic half days in my school so there's one day that we just discussed a topic that is chosen by the school and that it relates to the clerkship that we're doing so Lectorial has concept pages, that's what they call. So there are articles that contain any topic that you find. For example, the, other, the one that I was doing was abnormal bleeding or abnormal uterine bleeding. It's just, it's so easy to find stuff here anything that you type they're gonna have a video and a concept page about it and the concept page contains all the different high yield or anything that you need to know about that topic for example this is one of the topics in the concept page is basically a summarized way of giving you the information it gives you the epidemiology gives you the theology clinical presentation diagnosis management and differential diagnosis so all of that um, and the videos that they have related about it um, you know some charts if you needed to very nicely explain so yeah I love that feature as well so yeah like I was saying I use these concept pages during academic half days because they're discussing something so a topic and I can just have all the information in one page um, read it over before the session and when we're in the group discussing the case I'm already prepared because I already seen you know read a little bit about the general topic so I just need to look up you know the specific answer that they're looking for in this same article so it's really cool and I can also access it through my phone if I needed to in and in my iPad um, when I'm in the hospital and if I needed to look up a medication or um, you know a imaging or a procedure in this case right now I'm starting UIN surgery so I need to look up all the procedures their complications their indications all of that is lectorial and it's very the search feature is really efficient so basically this is the main page and for example you can create your own study plan for me is the step one um, 40 days the one that I'm choosing but um, you can see that they have all the playlists the one that I'm doing the most right now is obstetric and gynecology and it's for the clerkship so they have a divider you see obstetric versus gynecology I've been doing all the obstetrics because that's what I just finished and they have divided into you know antenatal intrapartum postpartum and then within that all the different topics that you need to know and i just been loving it right now i'm trying to do the gynecology one before i start gyn surgery and the professors are just top of the line they're really good at what they do one that i really really enjoyed was the physical examination if you didn't get enough training at school and you feel like you need to um, emphasize or strengthen your physical examination skills this playlist is gold i love it i watched all of these videos by the way with my older account but um they have all the different exams they even have the neural exam with the cranial nerves um and it's very complete it explains different cases and things that you should consider um in terms of your examination it shows you everything it even shows you the male and female genital urinary system so they're they're doing 
all of these by manual speculum exam especially in gui and surgery you want to know right what's happening here and yes we get one session like this but this is once a year this very you know very sensitive exams so it's good to just review them before OBGYN clerkship um, but they have everything you know all the different clerkships here and you can change it also to a step one or anything that you need you know so yeah in my day to day that's everything I use and really everything I need during clerkships so I'll continue to use it for the rest of my OBGYN clerkship peds and psych and then I'll update you guys about it but up to now it's been amazing and I used it for outpatient too it's a really great resource very complete which is my favorite um, but yeah if you wanted to try it out I do have a coupon for you um, it's Melissa20 I'll add the link in the description below you'll get 20% off with that link and they do have the prices um, divided between three months one year and two year plans so the more years that you get the membership for the least you pay per month but for example if you get um, the two-year plan you end up paying like $15 per month or $15.99 per month um, which is a great offer and you can get 20% off with my coupon so um, make sure to check it out if you're interested so yeah I think it's very worth it because it's everything you need in one platform and it's very easy to use effective and updated so yeah this is everything for today make sure to subscribe if you want more videos on this kind of information and blog style i'm planning to blog more in the hospital and i'll do a video on my experience in the labor and delivery which was very very exciting that's the video that's coming next um but yeah i'll see you in the next one